What is up, you guys? This is Mr. What If here, bringing you a brand new little, a brand new little video on my YouTube channel today, and I'm going to upload a part two to What If Deku was like Neo from The Matrix, part two. Now I just got off of a live stream, watching a live stream from my boy Kid Mighty. And the link to his channel is going to be in the description down below. But further ado, let's get into this video, shall we? So, when Deku... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry about that. Alright, so, when Deku... I left, last left off, I say, when Deku meets a tall, sinister black man with just nose glasses. You know, the glasses with the dark black lens and all that. Yeah. So, we, so I left off of that part, so we're going to continue from that, shall we? Alright. So, this tall, sinister black man that's bald tells Deku to sit down. Now, Deku goes ahead and sits down on the couch, and this is when the man would say, you are the one. And then, this is when Deku would ask him, who are you, and why are you here, and what do you mean I am the one? And then the man would say, you're Quark. I've been doing research on Quarks that are... Not of what they seem. In a way, you can say, I'm looking for new people to bring about new hope. And this is when we we'll get a sudden knock on the door. And this is when we would see... And then this is when people would walk into Deku's house. And one of them being... And one of them being a, a, and one of them being a girl with the red hair, and she, yeah, red hair and brown eyes, and a brownish reddish eyes, and then another would follow up behind her, would be the pro hero Kami would. Plus All Might and a guy with red wings. And this is when Deku would, you know, freak out seeing All Might again. Thinking that he wouldn't see All Might. And then All Might would tell him to calm down. And then this is when the tall black man would explain himself and say that his name is Morpheus. And unlike Deku, uh, he has no quirk, but a set of skills, and these skills are very set to a superhuman level. And then this is when Morphix would explain the girl with the red hair, her name is Ashley, and this here is his daughter, and her quirk is somewhat similar. Her quirk is called Phantom. Her quirk allows her to connect. Her quirk, her quirk Phantom allows her to connect to sp spiritual side of things. If you can, if you would like to say, supernatural. Supernatural spiritual type. And then this gentleman over here with the red wings is a, you can call, spy. He is one of our rarest, he's one of the rarest heroes. His name is Hawks, the wing hero. Sorry if you can hear the echo in the background. Sorry if you hear echo, echo in the background. Um, he is a wing hero known as Hawks. And of course, you know All Might and the new uprising hero, Kami Wood. 
Now, the government has in has expected us to form a secret task force of new expiring heroes known as the Neo Troop. And then Deku would say the Neo Troop. And then Morpheus would say yes. The Neo Troops. is supposed to be the next gen heroes. And due to the information we gather from All Might and the research I have done about looking for kids quite like you you came up as an interesting as your quirk allows you to dodge, as allows you to accelerate your body speed and movement to allow you to dodge. Plus a few other things like creating, allowing you to use a little bit of your mom's quirk controlling small objects at the moment, right? And then he's, and then Deku nods his head. And then Morpheus says, we have a few other kids that are somewhat like you. Well, not like you, they have very quirks, variation of quirks. And this is when Deku would ask, why are those three heroes here? Um, and then Morpheus would explain that All Might is here to, you know, All Might is here to help Morpheus pick out ones that are, you can say, worthy of what All Might has to offer and who will, you know, set a public eye, bring the Neos the future gen heroes into more of a public eye. And then Deku would say, okay, what about the wink hero? And then he said, oh, Hawks and Kami Wood will be, will be the heroes that will lead the Neo heroes, which is going to be the task force that we're genuinely deciding on Maybe, possibly, you or my daughter, well, depending, you or my daughter to lead. And then, Kami Wood would step in and say what his name is and his quirk, and nice to meet you, and Hawks would do the same thing. And then, Deku would ask, who are the others? Well, there's my daughter, you, and there's two others. There's a kid named Mouse, and another kid, I believe he's around your age. His name is Tokiami. And then he would say, Tokiami. And then he says, yes. The kid named Mouse, he has a cork that allows him... He has a he has a rather nice quirk. It allows him to increase in it allows him to decrease his size and increase. So he can be as half or as tall as Mount Lady, or he can be the size of an ant. Now when he shrinks, his strength becomes so high that if he accidentally punches someone he might accidentally kill them so he's one of the ones that are being focusedly on focused on and then he would say so like the mask so you he's kind of like focusing on the mask and pressure and then Morpheus will say exactly and then the other one known as Tokiyami he has a quirk that is very is more useful at night and it is kind of a mixture between kind of a mixture between both quarks, a mutation and an emitter. He's able to emit dark shadow, but his appearance is transformation. You know, mutant. And then Deku would be in would be shocked to hear that there's somebody with possibly two quarks.
And Hawk would say that he's actually thinking about, you know, he's actually helping out Tokiyami. And then Morphe says that he's watching over his daughter and Mouse. And Kami Wood and Kami Wood and All Might will be focusing on you, Deku. And then Deku would be, you know, kind of weirded out but excited at the same time because he's gonna be trained by a new gen hero that's literally a rookie that's literally coming up the ranks like nobody's business and the pro number one hero himself. So yeah, Deku's pretty excited but still nervous. Now, I'm going to time skip a little bit, and I'm going to time skip to when, I'm going to say, in the middle of the nine months training. So, Deku has gotten a little bit faster. And, I'll say, and I'm planning to make Kami Wood more of a character in the story. M- more of a character. So, yeah, Kami Wood is starting, you know, I'll say Kami Wood would benefit from Deku because Kami Wood is learning. Because we know what Kami Wood's weakness is that his whole body's made out of wood and he can be damaged by somebody with fire, with like a fire, with a very hot fire cork like Endeavor, Todoroki, and possibly maybe even Bakugo can be brutally damage him to the point that he might die. So, I'll say that Kami Wood's speed and his speed and agility will get, you know, his stats for speed and agility would get up a little bit. And Kami Wood would find new ways to use his quirk. And then I'll say that, yeah. And I'll say that Kami Wood would get a I'll say he'll get a new form. Something like Kurashima's Red Red Riot, but not as buffy and armored. I'll say it will make him look a little less looser than Kami Wood already is. And I'm going to call this transformation for Kami Wood Leaf, Leaf Mode. And the reason why I'm calling this leaf mode because if you remember, if you know what a leaf is like in the wind on how it's smooth and it flows with the wind, yeah. And you can tell this is kind of a weaker mode because you can tell this is kind of a. I'll say that his upper body stays the same, but his lower body, like his legs, will get buffed. Will get like buffed up. To where he's able to jump higher, run faster, and his arms are going to become skinnier to where he can stretch them out longer. Because Kami Wood is able to stretch out his body, but only to a certain extent, a real certain extent. So I'll say that him shrinking his arms so he has enough wood on his body to produce, to stretch, will come in handy later on in the story. And you'll know what I mean by that when I get up to the USJ. So yeah, Kami Wood has a new transform well somewhat of a transformation called Leaf Mode. So yeah, Kami Wood is focused on that and Deku is focusing on his own speed. Now Deku realizes that his speed is kind of getting enhanced, but his strength isn't really up there. He's able to, you know, go blow you know, go blow for blow with Kami Wood no problem. You know, go you know. He he's somewhat he's stronger as Kami would, you know, equal strength. But he knows, but Deku knows that his speed. He he's getting faster, but it's not really much of his run. Like his running speed has gotten faster. You know, he gotten faster than normal. But his agility and his reflexes just keep increasing at a rapid pace. 
that sometimes Deku, when he dodging, when he's dodging some of Kamiwood or All Might's attacks, he accidentally, you know, kind of does a little glitch and he dodges the attack, but he kind of glitches and then he moves and then he kind of like somewhat glitch steps and then he slams up against the wall or he, you know, goes flying out of some random wind pressure that wasn't even there and all of that. So yeah, he's kind of, you know, kind of losing control. And All Might and Kami would notice this, so they would call in Morpheus, would call in Morpheus' daughter, Ashley, to help out. And she finds out the reason that his quirk is a more of a spiritual level type quirk. It's not like hers, anywhere like hers. It's more of a... It's more of a body. It's more of a soul and body. Since you guys have been training Deku to be focused, his body isn't as free. And if you know what I mean by being free, you know where Morpheus tried to get Neil to jump, you know, 50 feet from a tall, from a 20-foot building, jump 50 feet to another 20-foot building. Yeah, you, you know if you watch the first movie of The Matrix. So, yeah. And she says what Morpheus says in the movie, be free, don't focus, and all of that. You know, your mind is a bubble that you need to pop in order for you to be fully, so your body can be fully free. You know, the whole that whole stick, that whole thing. So, yeah. So, Deku listens, and then Deku automatically starts to move. Deku feels strange. And then, as Deku's, you know, doing meditation, it, during as Deku's trying to control himself and meditating at the same time, Deku, when he closes his eyes and breathes in and breathes out, he feels like he's bending. Well, not if he's bending, but he feels like if the world is bending. And it, and if you've seen the hallway scene, I'll leave the link to, I'll leave the link of that scene of the movie in the descriptions below. But yeah, go watch the link in the description. You know what I mean by he feels like the world is bending. And then Deku would hear a voice in his head say, "You." You do not bend the spoon. And the spoon does not bend. You bend. And then Deku try and then Deku would question what a random voice in his head just said. I don't bend a spoon. The boon the spoon does not bend. But I am the one who bends. And Deku just gets confused from that word statement. And then Deku doesn't tries to shake it off. And then I'll cut to the last month of training. And this is when All Might would, you know, does what he does in canon and asks Deku does he want the cork? And I'll be leaving it off right here so you guys can answer that question. Do you guys want Deku to get one for all? Yes or no? Type in a comment section below. And tell me if you want, you know, uh, you know, tell me which ship would you guys like. Well, actually, don't tell me a ship because I got a ship in mind that you guys might like and might hate. So, yeah. But you guys can comment down below. Should Deku get one for all? Yes or no? Should Kami would be more of a... Should Kami would be the teacher of class 1A? And... How far do you think Morpheus will take Deku into reality? Until then, remember, the spoon does not bend. You do not bend the spoon. You are the one that bends.
Peace out, fams.